Back here on Jiggy Jag TV, JiggyJagTV.com. Also, RossLong.info. I'm Jigman Freud, and we are out here at the historic Paramount. For 65 years, these people have been bringing in great entertainment, and tonight is no exception. I've got the Dave Rude Band with me. I'm going to get the hell out of the way and let the people with talent talk. So jump in there, gentlemen. Introduce yourselves. And give us a little information on the Dave Rude Band. Um. I'm Marco, I play bass guitar for DRB, and here's Davi. Hi, I'm Dave, I sing and play guitar. I'm Josh, I play the drums. <laughs> now, uh, what the hell is the Dave Rude Band? Is it just you and then you got those other two guys? Or? I don't even know these guys. Oh. I, I found them on Craigslist when I got to Kansas you City found yesterday. found them on Craigslist? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. We have a silly name, but we're a band. It's like any band. It's, it's not just me, it's all three of us. So. It just it started as a solo project a long time ago, and um, I'm looking in there, right? Okay. Uh, so that's why the name is what it is. But then we all started playing together four, no, five years ago now, and um, it's a, it's just we kind of stuck with the name, but it's a regular band, all three of us. Now you guys have a heck of a musical background. Give me a little information, each of you guys, what other bands have you been in, how long you've been doing this music thing. Um, before I met these guys, I was playing in punk bands around the Bay Area. Um, we started with different teachers, studied all types of, you know, uh, different musical backgrounds, Latin, jazz, swing. Um, so I, I kind of had that all under my belt when I met these guys, and, and it's been a continuing process for myself, going to school and studying music and all that. So. Um, that's pretty much my background as far as music. That's your background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he didn't mention Afro-Cuban. I was counting here 10 yeah. seconds. I figured how long Kelly oh. mentions that he studies Afro-Cuban percussion. And he didn't do it. That was pretty Oh, uh, you know. He studies lots I'm of I'm trying things. to be humble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so a lot of Latin percussion. No, I, yeah. I started uh, studying music over at San Francisco State. And I joined their uh, Afro-Cuban band there. So let's go. I, on the side, that's what I do when I'm not with these guys. That's it. And uh, you know, I played rock and roll my whole life. But uh, obviously, Tesla is the, the thing that that uh, kind of brought us to more attention. And uh, I've been playing with Tesla since 2006. And before that, uh, Mark and I were in a band together for about five years in the San Francisco Bay Area. And um, that's how we knew each other, and that's how we hooked up for this band. And I'm a rocker, man. I'm just a rock and roller. That's that's about it. <laughs> uh, well, for me, uh, let's see, I'm from Peru, so I started playing music when I was uh, 13, 14, and playing rock music in Peru. I moved here when I was 22, and I've been in the Bay Area ever since, playing different bands, and then I met Dave, 99. Is that long? It's been too long, man. I'm out. Say <laughs> Interesting fact about Peru: all the bass strings are made out of llama hair. So I was still in the, the bass string. What? <laughs> Correction: we met in 2000. 2001. One. December 2000. There you go. Anyway, so ever since we've been playing together, this and it was over. <laughs> You're running out of battery? No. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, now we're doing this, and it's, 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 it's awesome. You know, it's fun. It's, uh, it's a lot of creativity and a lot of Afro Cuban influences now. <laughs> no, and but I love it. It's true. His, his just the fact that he's Peruvian and grew up listening to that kind of music as well as all the rock stuff, just that's, that in Peru, that's your folk music is. is it's a whole different rhythm and a whole different groove than, than American, most Americans are, are used to. So he brings that to what we do. That's why we have a lot of more sort of a groove and kind of different weird bass lines and different um, just grooves, which I think makes us stand out from your average rock band. And then also because Josh is into that and also because he has his punk rock background, which is just more high energy and different. I think that's a real big part of why we are you know, different sounding than your average rock band, especially a trio these days, where so many rock bands kind of sound the same, because they all grew up listening to the same stuff. But we didn't completely, so I think that's something I, that makes us I hope this is, this is not insultive or anything, but something about this gentleman just screams Ramones. Yes? <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 no, hell, God! <laughs> 
I, I think he was insulted. Out. <laughs> 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 no, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, how does how does the Dave Root band compare to some of the other projects you guys have been involved with in the past? My last band was a five piece. That's two guitars, um, bass, and, and, and a singer. And um, and it uh, so that's different, I guess. <laughs> our, you I know, mean, our old band was a five piece too. This is the first trio I've ever been in. Really? Yeah. This is my my second trio, actually, and obviously the best one. Yeah. Because we're still together. We get along well. And it's, it's cool. It's pretty cool. But yeah, musically, I mean, I, we, you know, we focus a lot more on songs and stuff, so uh, and kind of being different. Whereas a lot of bands, local bands in the Bay Area that that I'd been in and stuff, it was more kind of visceral, more just like oh, we're a rock and roll band and attitude. But that's yeah, easy, man. Anybody with attitude can get up there and put on a good show. But no one's gonna care if they don't have a song that they'll remember, you know, and hooks and stuff. So. We have the attitude, but we try and craft the songs first, <laughs> or at the same time. It's fun being in a trio, but the, 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 the tricky thing is because when you're in a trio, there are less people to say, well, no, we probably shouldn't do that, and well, I'd, I'd rather go this direction. And when it's just a trio, there's there's little to, to tell you what you can and cannot do, but at the same time, you kind of have to you know, not stray too far from what you're trying to get out. So. It's 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 a catch twenty two I guess in, in, in a lot of ways. So well, that's cool. It's like it's like having two less wives. <laughs> you just, you just, you just As opposed to more wives. Well, five, 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 five. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, well, it's it's <laughs> yeah. And the ski like to get along. As long as you can pleasure them every night, <laughs> each one of them. No, three nights. <laughs> Try all the Mormons, you know. <laughs> Monogamy. Now, uh, I don't know how I make the transition from that to this, but I notice you guys are on Facebook, and you're on Reverb Nation, you're on YouTube, and of course, DaveRootBand.com. Yeah. Who does the tweeting and the Facebooking and everything in the group, or is that somebody else? Uh, yeah, most of it. I do. I do most of it, but we've got a couple other people that help us out that, that do some of that stuff too. We have a, a very wonderful street team that uh, does a lot of the posting and, and internet fan gathering and typing. So um, you know, we're, we're always looking for more help with that too. Such as linking to this video. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> This will be all over our Facebook, and Reverb Nation, and in whatever new fucking site is up next year that everybody has signed up for. God knows I don't need a fucking another one of those fucking things. God, Facebook. Wonderful. Can I think of something more fun to do? Good lord. But you know, whatever. It's cool. It's a good way to get the message out there. So how how has the uh, tour and everything been that you guys have been on? And kind of going here and there and. The one show that we had was awesome. Yes, <laughs> last night was killer. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. We got because you have two first. shows now tonight, last night. So count the tour. The, oh yeah. Well, we got two more too. We got two nights in Wichita. Which I'm hoping they're on opposite sides of town. Yeah. Rock Island Live and then uh, and Lizard's Lounge. Lounge. And uh, we've never been to Wichita. I don't think I've ever been to Wichita with that. So I can't remember. So it'll be you fun, did the man. Kansas State Fair to chill last yeah. year. Is that in Wichita? No, that was in Hutchinson. Yeah, Hutchinson. Close. Okay. okay. But, um, yeah. We're, you we're, probably met our buddy Thomas Lamb, who lives over there, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> we, exactly. Uh, Nobody knows who this guy is. We're going to... Um, <laughs> We're going to be coming back to the Midwest more often. It's funny because we're from Oakland, California. We play out there a lot, and we do well there in the Bay Area, but it's surprising how well we do in the Midwest because I think there's a much bigger rock fan base out here. People just like it a lot more, cool. and they're more receptive to what we do overall than even in California. So uh, we've already, like in the last year, we've been to the Midwest three or four times, So, and our plan is to come back again in probably another couple months keep doing these sort of short tours and uh, bring it to where people like rock and roll and actually come out. California, man, people don't go to shows. Even your friends, you got to beg them to come out because they're like, ah, oh, man, I've been to 100 shows. I don't care about you guys. You know, it's a, it's a tougher sell. So people actually still appreciate hard rock for the most part in the Midwest. Which is well, now, a good thing. 
from Chicago to Houston, they're going to love me more. That's right. Why is that? Because you're from California, yet you like the Midwest. We don't we don't get that soundbite very often, yeah. ever. <laughs> Midwest flag and raising it proudly. <laughs> okay, a couple of final questions, gentlemen. Uh, how do we find you two guys on the internet? Are you guys on Bigroot.com? Same, same thing, Facebook, MySpace, which is dying out, but Twitter. Uh, uh, Craigslist. Uh, uh, adults, men seeking men. Yeah. Mm. And uh, Latino, too. La Latino. <laughs> it's a list of the Craig. I know the website, Pet Finder. Oh, yes. Lord. Where do you find out? <laughs> Wait, What's your actual name on Facebook slash what? Yeah, what's your actual Facebook? Uh, yeah, it's just Marco Guzman. Or you can also try low end. Low end. You know what I'm saying? What's yours? Uh, or do you not do the social networking? I do. I, I don't remember quite. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Facebook slash Marco Guzman. Yeah, and then you have a Facebook.com/slash/JoshAWAKA. Oh, Josh cool. Schmidt. It's all linked on the Avery Man Facebook, oh, Facebook yeah. slash Avery Man. They need a QR code. Exactly. For, for you everything. guys need a QR code. Those barcodes that you scan with your smartphone. You guys so have like a QR I can code? put up to the screen right now? I've seen those things. They scare me. They're real easy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this camera scares me. I feel like I'm in the doctor's office. Like, like I'm getting an eye exam. Like, like that. It's meant to do that. Yeah. You're going to be a puff of air really soon. You guys have any shout outs or free my mamas or anything? Free, free my, my mama is in prison. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, sign our online petition. We could maybe get her out. <laughs> No, she's not. <laughs> that would have been, been great. We had a rap from one time. We said, you got any shout outs? And they're like, yeah, bring my mama. <laughs> so we have a yeah. I'd like to give a shout out to FedEx. <laughs> Can we have our packages, please? Yes. <laughs> they have our merch. We sent our merch, and we have no merch to sell last night, tonight, or our next two shows. Which is the only way you make fucking money on tour, especially these tiny little club tours. But luckily FedEx didn't get our packages in time, so we're just playing for for pure rock and fans. Tonight. But fans can always buy this on the website. Absolutely, they can. So just a reminder. DaveRootBand.com. And if they sign up our, on our email list at that DaveRootBand.com website, we'll send them for free brand new uh, songs that we've been recording. We've already sent out a few, a few times. There's three brand new ones. We've already got six more that are getting mixed. So a steady stream of new music for free if you sign up on the email list. Well, gentlemen, thanks for doing this. And I'm going to slide in here. My thanks to Dave Root Band. Check out DaveRootBand.com. I'm Chiggy Chag, and uh, peace and a Mighty 5000 or whatever Sammy Sosa does. I don't know.